Today we want to show you how to level a concrete floor. In this film, we'll tell you how to prepare the floor and part two will help you finish the job. Carpet in a room can cover a lot of imperfections, but other types of floor covering are much less forgiving. So if your floor surface is uneven, it's worth spending some time to get rid of any dips and imperfections. A floor leveling compound will produce a smooth and even surface on which you can lay your smart new floor covering. It's quite easy to do if you have the right tools and equipment and follow the right process. As with most DIY tasks, correct preparation is a key part of producing a good quality finished job. First, give the floor a thorough sweep to remove any dirt and dust. Before sweeping, dampen down the area using a plant mister or spray bottle. This will help to keep the dust down. Don't use a domestic vacuum as it may get damaged by the concrete dust. Inspect the floor to see if any repairs are needed and check for any grease or oil on the surface. If there is, use a suitable degreasing agent to clean it. Most standard floor leveling compounds can be applied up to a maximum of five or six millimeters in thickness, but some products are suitable for applying at greater thicknesses, so always check the manufacturer's instructions. If any holes, dips, or cracks in the floor are deeper than the maximum thickness that the leveling compound can be applied to, they will need to be filled with a suitable concrete repair compound first. Again, check the leveling compound manufacturer's instructions to identify the maximum permitted thickness. You can now check how deep any holes or dips are by placing a spirit level across the floor area and measuring from the bottom of the level to the bottom of the hole or dip. A steel rule is much better than a tape measure for this task. Check to see if the floor has a slight slope. If it has, the leveling compound will have a different thickness in different parts of the room. You need to know this so you can work out the average thickness and buy the correct quantity of leveling compound. Lay your spirit level on the floor. If it reads level, all is good. If not, lift the low end until it reads level. Then measure the gap between the bottom of the level and the floor. This will tell you the amount of slope over the length of the level. If the slope is across the whole floor, use a longer level, or a level and a straight edge to work out the overall slope. Once you're happy that the floor is ready for leveling, seal the surface with a diluted PVA adhesive mix or suitable acrylic primer using an old paintbrush and give it time to dry. You're gonna be on your knees for quite a while during this job, so don't forget to wear knee pads. Whilst you're waiting for the primer to dry, work out how much leveling compound is needed. Work out the room's area in square meters, then work out the average thickness that you'll be spreading the compound to and then refer to the manufacturer's coverage guidance on the packaging. This room is four by three meters, so 12 square meters. A 25 kilogram bag of leveling compound like this will cover five square meters with a three millimeter thickness. Therefore, we'll need three bags of compound. Once the PVA is dry, you're ready to level the floor. So watch the second part of this film now to see how this is done. For more ideas and know-how, visit DIY.com.